Here we have 2.5 uh, domain and range from the graph of a piecewise function. So the entire graph of the function f is shown in the figure. Write the domain and range of f as intervals or unions of intervals. So this one's very tricky because you have two pieces and you really have to pay attention to what's going on and whether things are connected, disconnected, or contained within or completely separated, okay? So we're gonna follow the same idea that we did before, going from domain, which is left to right, and it is x values, and then the range going from bottom to top, and that being y values considered, okay? So if I go from the very, very bottom, I get here, which is the, um, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna do left first. All the way to the left, I am here, which means I need to use that x value of negative three, and because it's open, I'm gonna use a parenthesis. Then the graph continues toward the right all the way up until it gets to here, and then it stops. And that x coordinate is zero. So I'm gonna use a bracket because of the solid dot. Now there is a gap between that x value and the next x value which means I have to separate the two intervals, but to tell the reader that both pieces are my, part of my answer, you use what is called a union, okay? So then now I can talk about this chunk from left to right. So from the left, I'm gonna use the x value of two, open dot means parentheses, and then all the way to the right is this spot, which the x value is four, and it does have a solid dot. Now the range, the range is gonna be a little bit trickier. Now I do have the range going from um, this spot here, which is negative four, and it has a bracket, and then it goes up, 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 until it gets to here. But I want you to notice, even though um, it gets to here, I cannot use an open dot to represent this because if I span over here, notice that there is a solid dot for that y value. So I can't put this number and then put a parenthesis because that would mean that that y value 2 is not included in the range, but it is included in the range. So what I strongly suggest you do here when you have um, pieces of one graph that are contained in the other is called translate. So you translate the image onto the axes so that you can see better what is happening. So I'm gonna do that for the X value, just so you can see it, and then we'll do it again for the Y value so it makes sense, okay? So for the X values, if I translate this to the X axis, it's gonna be an open circle. Every single one of these little tiny dot line dots is gonna transpose to the X axis, causing a bunch of tiny little dots. Every single one of these solid dots, when it transposes onto this, think of it kind of like as a shadow, and then it's gonna stop here with the big solid dot, right? Then for this part, it's gonna transpose down here with an open dot. All of these dots are gonna fall onto the X axis like this. All of these are gonna go upward until they get to right here with a solid dot, okay? So you're basically taking all, all of those x values and pushing them up to the x axis or all of these points and pushing them down to the x axis. And then now you'll notice that this stuff in green corresponds to the intervals that I have. Negative three to zero and then two to four with the ends being open and then closed and open and closed and there's a gap in between so we had to put the union in the middle, okay? Um, for the range, watch what happens when we try to transpose that. So if I start at the bottom, this is gonna transpose here. All those, these little tiny dots are gonna go here, 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 all the way, 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 until I get to here with an open dot. That's this side. Now if I do the same thing with this side, notice that I'm gonna have an open dot, but there was already a solid dot there. So it actually is solid after all, okay? The solids will override the opens. Then all little tiny, little tiny dots, 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 
that dot ends up filling up this hole and then dots, more dots, dots, dots until I end up with this solid dot. Now, notice that I would have had two open spots, but they ended up getting filled with this dot and this hole ended up getting filled with that dot. So there's no break in the range. It is all a bunch of solid dots from the very bottom all the way to the very top. What is the y value of that very bottom? It is negative four. What is the y value of the very top? It is three, but it's also solid there, so I should have a bracket. No break in those y values, okay? Let's do the same thing, I'm gonna use a different color, but let's do the same thing for the next picture. So here, if I take this dot and transpose it onto the X, it'll be solid. And then all of these little dots are gonna smush down, down, down until I get here. And then I have an open dot there. Here, this is gonna be a solid dot. All of these little tiny dots are gonna smush down to the X axis. All these little tiny dots are gonna go up to the X axis, giving me an open dot there. So when it comes to the domain, I have to use x values and I have to go left and right. So it's going to be from negative 4 to negative 3 with a bracket and a parenthesis for the solid and the open. There is a gap, so I have to put the union. And then from negative 1 to 1, forgot my comma, with a solid dot over here and an open dot over there. Now the range. I've got to transpose now the Y values. So I'm going to start here. This is going to be an open dot. All of these little dots are going to smush onto the Y axis, making it solid. I'm going to keep going, smushing all of these to the right, to the Y axis. I get a solid spot here. Then there's nothing in here. There's no graph in there. So I'm going to start that one with an open dot and take all these and smush them over to the Y axis. And then I have a solid dot here. And so there is a break in the range this time. So starting from the bottom to the top, y values. Y value here is negative three, and it goes all the way till it gets to positive two. There's an open dot there, but a solid dot here. There is a gap in the y value, so I'm gonna use the union. And then this y value, which is three, this y value, which is five, this one has a open print an open dot so it's a parentheses this one has a solid dot so it is a bracket and that is the domain and range when you have a bunch of different images on the same graph it really does help to transpose them onto the x-axis for the domain and onto the y-axis for the range at least until you get the hang of visually being able to do these problems I have done so many of these, right, in my experience, that I can give you the domain and range um, without having to draw the blue or green and then the red for the range. I know that when I get here, that's going to fill in that spot. If it keeps going, this is going to fill in with this spot and then keep going. I can read the range in that manner and know that this is going to be the range with no gap. Here I know there's a gap in the x values. And I know there's a gap in the Y values. So I already knew that both of those sets were gonna have to have um, unions. But with everything, it takes practice. But this is a way to do it. If you transpose everything onto the axes, it really helps a lot.